So he didn't look like a real creature. It's just all this fluffy teddy bear look. This little baby anteater had been found by the side of a road. He was about two months old, so he was very, very tiny. He was kind of could sit on your hand. And he was absolutely gorgeous. The younger they are, the more difficult it is for them to survive. So we knew it was going to be a big challenge for us. Once he started eating, we knew that he was going to be OK. We were taking him outside and taking him for little walks to give him lots of exposure to the outside world. We started exposing him to things like termites' nests and ants. He was showing these instincts for tearing up little bits of dead wood and, and digging in termite nests. They're normally stay with their mums between six months and 12 months. We use that time to get him nice and big and strong, feeding him on the milk, and then gradually weaning him more and more onto the termites and the ants. He just wanted to do that all the time. The bigger he got and the more confident he got, the more time he needed outside. And he became really playful. Like, I didn't know that Auntie just could be playful. He would dive bomb through these muddy ditches, get completely coated in mud and water. And I think it was just a way to cool down, but he loved it. And so it was this gradual process of, of sleeping less, taking less milk and taking more insects. It got to the point where we were out for kind of 12 hours a day and he was still like, yeah, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go. And we couldn't keep up with him anymore. And so that was the point at which we said, you know, like, yeah, he's great, he's good. He doesn't need us. I took him off a hill, his regular routine, and then he just moved on uphill and I just stayed there and rather than follow him like we normally do, just watched him go until I couldn't see him anymore and he was just foraging and eating and he didn't look back, he just headed over the hill and, and up into the forest. We'd said this big emotional goodbye and then the next day he turned back off again. He just passed by the camp to say hi. It was just a really nice reassurance for us that everything was going well and he, he was living his best life. And that is everything that you ever want for the rescue and rehabilitation of an animal is to know that they're doing well and they're happy and they're healthy.